Over the past 365 days, I've spent thousands of dollars on fuel and fishing trips chasing some of the best trophy fish in the world. I've encountered some stallions of the ocean, from sturgeon in Canada to marlin in Costa Rica and even swordfish in Tasmania. It has been a very eventful year of fishing and competing with myself to become a better fisherman. So let's see the incredible encounters and battles that have occurred over the last year. After approximately 50 drops in total chasing the elusive swordfish down in Tasmania, we finally secured our first bite and we were tight on our first yep. swordfish. This is the moment it all happened for us in 2023. 15 minutes left of our drift, so we've hooked up at the half an hour mark. We saw a very light take and quickly set him. Nutter's on the right. Angle on him is crazy. Oh, sorry, hold on. Up to a bit of mischief, Nutter. He doesn't want to come to the boat, buddy. Definitely does not want to come to the boat. He did see us briefly there, and now he's not happy. Go, 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 go. Get, oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Yep. Get it through. Where we at? Go, go, go. Try and get it through. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep yep, keep coming, keep coming. It's a swordfish. Come on. Oh, grab the gaff, grab the flying gaff, flying gaff. It's a beautiful sword, mate. Beautiful sword. Quick, 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 quick. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful thing. There you go. That's it. That's it. Well, there you have it. He's done it. Well done, Nutter. Great teamwork. Thanks, On the first drop today, too, we got so lucky. First swordfish. We've been chasing these for a couple of years, and it's finally happened. We don't know what it's going to weigh, but we'll take it and weigh it in a little bit later. Let's just say that I'm about six foot four. Yeah, Nutter's about 120, <laughs> and it's a bit bigger than him. So we've done a great job. 150, one, 152 square. Oh my gosh, 152.2. So that circle hook worked an absolute treat. Uh, stitched it up last night with a small calamari and just skirt over the top. It wasn't the prettiest stitch, but it definitely held. This year, we saw schools of bluefin tuna unlike any other season in years. And luckily enough, we were able to throw some lures at them on multiple occasions. Here's a little bit of a recap on what we encountered with the school bluefin tuna in the Bass Strait of Tasmania. So just a tip of what we're doing here while we're trying to get them top water. We can see a turn right on the tuna. We're going upwind of them so we can cast down to get that additional length on the stick bait. Oh, <laughs> but also so we don't scare them off, take it nice and wide. And then we drift onto them as they're feeding so they don't feel that pressure of us coming up right in front of them. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is insane. Let's get them. Top water. That's fine. Holy smokes. Look at that. Oh, straight on. Straight on. Yep. Straight on. 
straight on. Woo! We knew it was about to fire up. Where's that net? Um, yeah. This is incredible. You're gonna have so much fun on that. It's only a 10 kilo setup. Oh, yeah. They're only on 20 pound. Oh, look at them. Oh, this is just incredible. This one's gone under the boat. Come here. Here he is. Oh, beautiful creature. Double hook, too. Yeah, I'm going to back in. Get He's not going to fit. All right, now get the other side of the net. There you go. Yes. What a beautiful little creature. Yeah, top water. Let's cast back into him and grab another one. <laughs> Little run. Come here, buddy. We've got a present for you. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, you can go a bit harder on that now, you know. Yep. So, we're tagging this one. Uh, he's bleeding, but pissing out blood everywhere, mate. Ready? Yep. Uh, he's a solid one. Well, that fish put on a bloody fight, didn't he? It did indeed. That's a nice, nice fish. You know, I reckon he's got 30 in him. He's got 30. Took the skirt on the long shot, and he really took you for a run too. Yeah, it was good fun. Good fight. Yeah, it was probably even about, oh, dare I say, 15 minutes to get him in, yeah. which is a bit wide. You can see his marks here from the fight. He's got a little bit of blood coming out. See where the so hook is. We can see where the hook is, so. The hook's down pretty deep. Unfortunately, this one might have to come home with us, but the meat will not be wasted at all. And it'll be good to get away on him too. Yeah, true, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get a photo. Well done. Go to me. Uh, come on, you wallaby snag. Woo! On to another tuna. We are just saying that she was a bit quiet. Just been loving these initial runs that they're taking as well. So exciting. <sighs> yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. I think we might keep one more, but we'll keep hunting for a bigger, bigger model. This one's probably going about 85. I'd say that one's closer to 20. 20 kilos. Uh, able to get that. <laughs> we were able to get the hooks out. So he's going straight back. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Right. Yep. Oh, yeah, not a bad one. Ah. Nice southern bluefin. Ah. Another one coming in. This one's going out. Alrighty, bud. See you later. Woo! Here's off. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, what happened? Absolutely gobbled the laser pro. I think uh, I think we'll bleed this one and put him in the chili bin. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I just got the perfect cast into this school and the wallop on this stick bait top water it was insane. He's just going for a pretty big run on me, but the slammer took it just then. Thanks for coming. Yeah, that was so sick seeing it top water. They're busting up just here next to us too. In total, we tagged 12 tuna on my boat for the season, and hopefully we can beat that next year. It's a great contribution to science. Next up, we can't go past the multiple triple hookups we have had on the Latris Lineata over the last year. Oh, Timmy! Yes, bud! That's so sick. Let me chuck this on here. Get on the fight. Don't seem as bad now, maybe it's stopped fighting as much. I'm coming, 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 coming. Triples! Oh, Timmy, he's done it again! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck, what the 
flaming heck is going on? That's why they're heavy. <laughs> I got little arms. <laughs> Two drops and you bagged out, bud. Oh. Just get some slack off on there. You are kidding me. What's that, Timmy? Ew. <laughs> second, is not so bad. <laughs> second drop and you have absolutely nailed it. We've got to get one of these back in the water because you've hit your bag. Well done, my friend. Let's film that release. They are all size as well, once again. Can you feel, baby, if you don't go quick? All right, boys, well, you need to tag out. You know where I'll be. No worries. Yeah. Enjoy, Steve. Have a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you want to fight it over this side? Oh, no, try to keep it over that side. Keep it in you, I reckon. <sighs> Double. Oh, that's not too bad. Right, hold on. Nick, do you want to take that? It's good. We just don't want this to... Oh my gosh. Right, Steve, that might have been a good break. Oh. <laughs> Alright, there's another stripe here, it's coming in. Oh, he's done the trips. Maybe. I'm seeing oh. three. There's yeah, three. I'm seeing three. There's three. Another three stripe. Fucking hell. Oh my gosh. Well done, Steve. Yep, that's it. Okay, I'll pull this one in. Wow, they're all big too. You wanna grab one? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Steve. Are you kidding? First strike and you triple hook. All of those are uh, over 70. <laughs> yeah. Especially this big weight. Yeah, that one's awesome. Is that about 80? Yep. Nice work. This is the last stripey that I managed to get on that last drop after letting another one go. What is it? What's on the bottom of the line? <laughs> Could be a big school shark or a gummy shark or even a monster stripe. World record stripey. That'd be great. I reckon it's looking pretty sharky at this point. Yeah. He's fighting. He's having a bit of a break. So am I. <laughs> Come on! Get him up! Oh no, it's double stripey! Is it? You've got double stripes! Uh, Wait, hold, is that triple striped? You've got triple stripies! You've got triple stripes! <laughs> oh my gosh, look how big they are, man! Nick has done it. Three stripies on one rig. He's tangled up. Tangled up. It's all happening in the boat. I can't believe that. Three stripies on one rig. Sea breeze tackle. Thank you very much. And what an episode. Let's get these guys back in the water. That's We're 70, done here. 75. 75? Yeah. 75. Back in the drink. Nice swim. He'll be fine. Yeah, there you go. Hold well on.
That's epic. <laughs> Before we get into the next segment, I want to let you know about our new Sunny Savers that we have up on tazcast.com.au. You can protect your $300 pair of sunglasses and ensure they don't fall in the drink when you're out fishing. They have a high breaking strain, they fit 95% of sunglasses, they're low profile, and I guess they're a little bit stylish as well. Of course, you can purchase all other merchandise on the website. Thank you for the support. Let's get back to the fishing. Now it's time to look back on this incredible moment catching my first sturgeon on the Fraser River in Canada. How cool are these fish? Yeah, because some, sometimes they jump. Yeah, right. Wow. Well, you can tell. Alright, so we've been here for about half an hour. Hooked up. So the close that fish gets to the boat, yeah. you want to get your rod up higher and fight him down low. Yeah. He's got some weight on him. And if he goes under the boat, <clears throat> you put the rod back in your ass. Yeah, yeah right. Wow. Yeah, because that gives you, I mean, you, there's nothing you can do except just cope yeah, with it. Yeah, just right? bite. Far out, it's big. I should be over there. So that's why doing this is good, because your mind doesn't go on the... Uh, yeah. Wowee. That's some pretty tight drag, too. You've probably got at least 10 kilos of drag on there. He's gonna come up. Oh, he's coming up. He must jump. He's jumping. Oh. There he is. Almost. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Make you a bit of ground. Never mind. <sighs> oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, Whoa. We, we can't do anything until that fish goes upside down. The mouth wow. was on the bottom. Look at that thing. Nice little workout, huh? What a beautiful creature. Look at that. Oh, thank you, buddy, for your fight. Righto. How's that? First sturgeon. Took a few minutes to get in. Uh, time for a nice little graceful release. We don't keep these guys here. But look at the beautiful colors on him. See you later. Holy moly. How could I forget this incredible trip to Capoz in Costa Rica chasing some big, big marlin. This is a moment I will never, ever forget and I'm so happy I have it all on video. Life's like a movie, lights, camera, action. Put your mind to it, live a life that you imagine. Life's like a movie, lights, camera, action. Life's like a movie, lights, camera, action. Put your mind to it, live the life that you imagine. Life's like a movie, lights, camera, action. It's gonna be fine, you just put that one leg in front of the other. And keep moving, you will get what you need. We don't let them bring us down. By the make history, run this town. What we need is passion, living by the code, cause you know the streets watching. I've been with a freak, love it when you speak Spanish. Money that my language, DJ turn it off, it's the new classic. Life's like a movie, life.
Nice little sale. Number two on the account this morning. Well done. Beautiful. All right, try and cut as close as possible to the hook, and he's out. Yeah! Thank you so much. Here, look out here. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Woo! Thank you so much. See you later. Took a few minutes. Got him in. Tried to feed him the bait. Missed the bait and then took the skirt. Thanks, mate. Take care. We love you. Have a good day. Hasta luego! Yeah! <laughs> Now, in all of those moments when we are trying to catch swordfish, we don't always find the target species. On this particular trip, we hooked up to a deep sea giant, and this is the fight that unfolded. to something. Whew. Nice little tease. Put a salmon down. Stitch it up last night. Nice little skirt over the top of him. About 15 minutes left of our drift and then we just saw a nice little light take so I teased him up and managed to hook him. So we're about 45 minutes in now. Starting to get a nice sweat came up about 20 meters and started charging towards us so we finally kicked in gear probably about halfway there haven't seen the top shot yet we've got 100 meters of top shot i'm fucking pooped and uh yeah we've got about 100 meters to go we're on 37 now so not going to go too hard but hasn't gone for any massive major runs just a bit of a run towards the boat earlier See if we can give it a bit more. <sighs> all right, I'm spent, we're changing hands. Shouldn't be doing it, but I just, I haven't eaten all day and I'm spent. I 
don't see it, Bill. It's a f big thresher. It's a thresher. It? Yeah, it's a thresher. It's a big thresher. Hey, dead. That is a. Oh, Nada, do you wanna? Uh, yeah, just. Let me introduce you to the thresher shark. There are three types of thresher sharks, big eye thresher sharks, common threshers, and pelagic threshers. They mainly feed on pelagic schooling fish such as squid, mackerel, and juvenile tuna, salmon, etc. In this instance, this species was pulled from about 500 meters deep. More than likely, its diet down there is just squid. Big eye threshers can get up to 4.9 meters in length, and they are said to mature at the ages of 10 to 15 years old, and they only have one or two pups at a time. <sighs> Grab the other GoPro. We uh, probably put a couple of kilometers on that flight there with the hookup, about 450, close to 500-ish. And we got the job done. Jacko came in and helped me at the end because I was a little bit bugger. After being on the hunt for about two hours, we finally got our first sign with a really large model following in Zabie's lure. It wasn't oh, wow. long until this finally happened and we had them boat side. Oh my god, man. There's so many. Come on, come on, hook, hook, hook. There's so many. Yeah, yeah boys. Yes. Oh, that rod was on for a second. That's just fast. My rod just got eaten and busted, I think. Let's go. Uh, this one's on. Wait. Wait. No, Tim, this one's on. Yeah. Mine's on or not? Oh, no, I just let it see a bit. It's about to go. Fuck, I hope I'm Next loop over. That's it. Yes, buddy. Yeah, cheers, man. Yes. In the boat. First king of the session. What a beautiful, beautiful creature. Well done. That was on a bit of squid. Yeah. Went pretty hard on the light gear. Incredible looking creature. Well done, Griff. Let's get another. That's a kingfish. Holy shit, that's a big boy. Oh. There's the kings. He's gonna go spastic when he sees his boat. Yes. Oh my god. She's right. Got him. Uh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo! Oh, triples on the kings, and he spat the hook as soon as I got him in. There's so many there. Bail arm open. I need to grab my first kingy. We've got Andy over here. Hey, Andy! How are we? We just got the triple hookup on the squid as well. We've been throwing soft plastics around all morning. Marked a couple. Finally managed to get this one. 65 centimeters. Went hard as well. They fight so well pound for pound. I love these creatures. Three on board for that quick session. What else are we running with? Beautiful feed. Oh, that's a king. That's a king. That's a king. And there's another kingy. Oh That's another kingy. Well, it's all happening here at the moment. Trying to do a quick little piece of content, and we can't. <laughs> Alrighty, if you want to try and swim, a little bit more. 
Nice little release. I would conclude that to be a very good session on the Kings, gents. Well done. Um, what did you get yours on? It's on a squid. No, squid, squid. So I was on squid, ah, uh, soft plastic. On yeah, a softy. Oh. And the plastics, oh, the cool kids in town. <laughs> good job. Good day Wallaby Dick, welcome to another episode of Tazcast. We are on the east coast of Tasmania, hanging around St Helens for the next couple of days. We've got a two day weather window, the weather has been shocking down here, but I am so pumped and so excited. Let's see what the next couple of days has to bring. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to help out that YouTube algorithm so everyone else can come along for the adventure too. Let's get fishy baby! Tangle, tangle Hello bangle. everyone! <laughs> Perla, what a ripper! What a ripper! Nice morning for us today. Four knots of wind all day, five knots, six knots, anything under ten, we're happy. <laughs> this is gonna be incredible, babe. <laughs> oh, crikey, it's a stripey! Ah, yeah. Nice one! One, two on one. Let's two. Two. Three there. Give it a second. Come on, where's the third? Tell me about this bait. Oh, uh, well, this is Yakka's. Got a few yellow tail scad. And, uh,. Yeah, we're gonna head out, catch a few yellowfin, get on the <laughs> shelf, a little bit of cubing. Yeah. Nice. Two more. Oh, three more. Three Good more. We, oh no, we've dropped one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, hello. Well, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Vietnam. What is this thing again? It's a ribbon fish. A ribbon fish. Bait. Bait. Look at him, it's so interesting. That's epic. A double hookup on the first one too. Oh no, they're just tangled. Not bad for the first drop, Salty. Not bad, not Got bad. Got a ribbon fish, two jemmies, and, and the old blue eye. Now with these blue eye and gem fish, five each per person. Point limit of 20. Five. 25 for the blue eye. I think 20 for the gems. Nice one. Well, four, three gems in, one blue eye, one ribbon. First drops. <laughs> Ooh, she's loaded up. Blue eye. Oh. Yes, big thumpers. Thumpers. More jammies. Oh, and another ribbon. <sighs> nice one, boys. Look at that. That's a feed. We're out here flatty bashing in uh, 366 meters. <laughs> Looking for some big king flathead. So far, only dirty bycatch. <laughs> blue eye, gem fish. Okay, I like that. Yeah, you got another bluey. Ooh, that FG's. Oh no, it's still hot. Oh. Back. Another blue eye and a jemmy. Good stuff. Look at that. They're not the biggest ones, but oh, chomped on the way up. Oh wow, Mako. Gee whiz. Mako. Got a Mako follow up. <laughs> All right, get winding. Get ready to wind. Oh, it's a shark. It's a shark. It's a Mako. Beautiful bike. Ugh. Do we want it though? Hell yeah, love one. Oh, careful. She's yeah. twisted. Uh-oh. 
We have oh. a Mako. F***ing hell. I was right on that call. I don't know how this braid's held up. Look at it. It's caught up the top. Oh, wait. Do we really want to keep this, guys? Oh, definitely. You want to keep it? Oh, 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 oh. Nah, hold on. Can you... Ah, let go. Let some slack. Drag out. Drag out. Drag. Out. drag. Far out. Oh, dear. Okay, looks like we're taking a Mako home with us today. Not the species that I want to take, but He's got plenty of grunt in him, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing is, though, once I let go, this braid's all twisted. So we're a bit I'm just worried about that twisting and just snapping off, so... Careful, he might launch in. Do you want a gaff? I've got the gaff, I just want to give it a couple of... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what took out what roll line previously. Oh, is he gone? He's off. Yeah. Okay. He's off. No, I don't want it. That's good. See you, buddy. You well, we're on our last drop out here, so I thought I'd chuck on a one kilo jig this time. <laughs> I would absolutely love to catch a blue eye on this. Two hooks on it. So we'll see what we can do. At least I'll be able to get down there a little bit deeper. Just a nice FG knot as well with about a meter and a half of 200 pound leader up top. Oh, there he is. Uh, yeah. Uh. No bait. No bait. Ah. Woo! On the one kilo jig! Glad I got gloves on. How can I do this? Sorry. Jeffish. I don't look good. <laughs> <laughs> I've convinced him. He's gonna have a go. He's got the itch. You bust yourself. One drop. That's it. One drop. Oh, look at the show too. We've got a good showing on the sounder. A very nice showing. No, 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 no. <laughs> there it is. He let me jiggy with it. Oh, oh, he's done it. it. He? Have you dropped it? No, he's still there. Surely. Is he still there? Ah! Ah! First wind. Dead bait fish retrieve. No, no, I'm loving it. Done it on the jig. Woo! Nice big jam. Get jiggy with it. Jiggy you with beauty. Baby. That's epic. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it. The 880. Oh, how many grams is it? Yeah, 880. Yeah. 880 gram Ocean's Legacy. Pretty much a kilo. I reckon the jig still weighs more than the fish, but it's still a very, very awesome thing. Yes, please. Come on. Come on, Daiwa. Look at that screaming off. 
Yeah, baby. But it does feel like a weird hookup, like it might be uh, wrapped. It's strange, strange fish. Yeah. All right, let's get a look at this thing. Come on. Nupper! My Whoa! God! My me! Yup! Yeah! Oh Holy God. man! Uh, yeah! Uh, <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> no way! Get that in his mouth! Holy! F <laughs> no way, man! That's sick! That thing is huge! 20 kilos at least. 20 kilos at least. 25. Oh, he put up a fair bit of a fight. You can see the teeth where that bait would have just gone straight down. That is absolutely nuts. An absolute PB for me and a, almost a PB for what's come out of these waters the last few days. So. I'm pretty happy with that. That's insane. We get some pictures, and uh, I think this one's coming home with us to feed the locals. That's for sure. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Those fins. That is a monster kubera. Look at the tail. That is the size of my foot. Holy smokes, man! <sighs> Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Marlin! Hey! <laughs> 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 see, I'm pumped. Oh, it's a rooster! Yeah! It's a big one too! That's a big rooster! Come on! Yeah! That's a f***ing big rooster! Yeah! Oh yeah, look at that awesome creature! Now we have to be quick with these guys because we want a nice healthy release here. Got a bit of grazing up the side. He's a nice size. Each time we brought him back to the boat. I mean, you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. You just, uh, you yeah, hold okay. this. My first nice. rooster. Nice. What an absolutely incredible creature. <laughs> that was a fun fight too. <laughs> Unreal. All right. Thank you very much for your play, buddy. See ya. <laughs> oh yes, finally! As mentioned earlier, today we're diving on a compressor, which hosts about 100 meters of hose, so that's the furthest distance that we can go away from the boat. Now, we can either anchor up and have two people feeding out the line and spotting, or we can have one person on the wheel and one person feeding the line. Today we're doing a little bit of both. We run the compressor at about 100 psi and the motor on low revs to be more fuel efficient. The compressor also sits on some additional rubber matting to stop extra shaking and, you know, anything moving around. There are a lot of compressors out there that are prone to having a knock in them, so it's an additional precaution to have the rubber matting. At this first location, we're diving in about 6 to 10 meters of water, so we take nice slow movements getting down to the bottom and coming back up to save any barotrauma, which is also known as MEBT. Our limit of crayfish for the day is six, so that's what we're on the hunt for. You don't get the grab every single time. Here's one that is missed. Sometimes when you have the excitement of seeing a crayfish there underwater, um, you completely forget about the technique that you normally employ, which is reaching underneath and pinning them to the cave or to the rock, so then you can get a better grab with your other hand.
That is by far my PB crate I've ever got. That is at least coming in at two kilo, maybe three. But look at the size of that thing. <sighs> Woo! That was a wrestle and a half. You probably saw that footage underwater and it took a long time to fit into that bag. But that is an absolute thumper. One for the dinner table. <sighs> For six people, I reckon. Woo. How's that? Woo. That's a ripper, mate. That well done. <sighs> Good dive. Yep. You get an idea of the size of this. That's 60, 63, 62 centimeters. That is absolutely massive. And the, the claws on it, I don't know, that in comparison to the size of my head is <laughs> huge. I can't believe that. There are some of my favourite moments from the past year of fishing in Tasmania and across the world. I hope you've enjoyed this lengthy episode revisiting some of these amazing captures. Hit that like button, follow me, Tazcast Fishing, on Instagram so you can stay up to date with all of our movements. And we will catch you in the next episode.